Jens Voigt signing in, the hero of Colorado Springs yesterday. This time, though, it will be from Woodland Park to Breckenridge in the USA Pro Challenge. And once on the highway, the man defending his leader's yellow jersey, TJ Van Garderen, but they were in for a rough day of weather. Well, it took a long time for the breakaway to form, but they attacked her from the gun, uh, traveling at speeds in excess of 35 miles an hour over the first hour of the race. But once the breakaway did eventually form, uh, 13 riders got clear off the front end of the main field. It took a while, uh, and the rain did not desist. In fact, it was getting colder by the minute as the riders headed towards the 10,000-foot mark here in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Riders started to abandon the tour one by one. This was David Bolzano, who resigned, retired here for the Novo Nordisk team. But BMC kept control of the head of the peloton while the breakaway took four minutes out of them. Once they got to the four and a half minute margin, that's the time when they started to get into the really bad weather conditions. But this race was really very much all about the sting in the tail. At the end of the race, the Hoosier Pass followed by the very dramatic ascension of the final climb of the day, Boreas Pass. So heading away from the Hoosier, it was a bold move by Laurent Didier, who's never won a road race aside from his two national championships in Luxembourg. Then he was being chased by two riders, Acevedo and Rob Britton. By the time they got to the finish, they were almost together, but a late rush by Didier held them off. Acevedo second, Rob Britton, a good ride by the man there, 29 years of age, in third place. Yes, for Laurent Didier getting the first victory he's ever had apart from the two national championship titles. Coming across the line a little bit further adrift, the yellow jersey of TJ Van Garderen meant he would consolidate his position in the overall lead at the end of the day. The only man of danger to finish alongside him was Rafa Maika, who kept his 20 seconds deficit overnight uh, to TJ Van Garderen. Everybody else of the contenders all conceded a few seconds. It was a late attack for TJ, but it paid off in the end. Now he's thinking of the time trial. Let's have a look at the United Healthcare overall standings then tonight. They've changed slightly. Matka keeps his 20 seconds and Svetkov is now in third place. Tommy Danielson retains fourth.